Hey everyone, welcome to this YouTube video on inline JavaScript. Today we will be discussing what inline JavaScript is and how it can be used to add interactivity to our web pages. So before starting the inline JavaScript, let's see the basics of writing JavaScript into HTML. So as you know, JavaScript that is also called JS is one of the scripting language. Which scripting language? Client side scripting language. We know that there are two types of scripting languages, server side and client side. So JavaScript is a client side scripting language and it is usually used in web development to create modern and interactive web pages. So the term script is used to refer to the language that are not stand alone in nature and here it refers to the JavaScript which runs on the client machine. Okay, so what is meant by not stand alone? Not stand alone means the scripting language that is a JavaScript is not the single language to create a web page. It is used with many other languages like HTML, CSS, etc. So it is not a stand alone in nature because it is used with many other languages. So in other words, we can say that the term scripting used for languages that require the support of another language to get executed means that without HTML, the JavaScript code will not execute. So in order to execute the JavaScript code, we must have to include the HTML code also. For example, JavaScript programs cannot get executed without the help of HTML or without integrated into HTML code. Okay, so there are following three ways in which user can add JavaScript to HTML pages or we can say that there are three types of JavaScript. The first one is inline, second one is embedding and third one is external JavaScript. So all these types are similar to the types of CSS. There are three types of CSS, inline CSS, internal CSS and external CSS. So inline CSS is same as inline JavaScript, internal CSS is same as embedding JavaScript and external CSS is same as external JavaScript. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about inline JavaScript. So let's see what is meant by inline JavaScript. Generally, this method is used when we have to call a function in HTML event attribute. There are many cases or events in which we have to add JavaScript code directly. For example, there are number of events like mouse over, mouse out, on click, on focus, on blur, etc. So let's see the help of example how we can add JavaScript directly in the HTML without using script tag. Like inline CSS, there we don't need the style tag and also in inline JavaScript, we don't need the script tag. Okay, so let's see the example of inline JavaScript. Okay, so here I open Notepad++ software to write a program. You can use any of the text editor as you want. So first let's write down the structure of HTML page. So the first tag in HTML that is a HTML, then there is a head tag, then title tag. Suppose write down the title as inline JavaScript, then close the title tag. After that close the head tag or end of head tag, then the opening body tag, closing body tag and then closing HTML tag. So this is a simple structure of HTML document. Now first let's save the program. Go to file or just click on control S. I am going to save the program on desktop. Then name the file that is a inline with extension that is a HTML and then save. Okay. Now write down the code for inline JavaScript. So here we do not need the script tag. The script tag must be in between the head tag or the body tag. But in inline JavaScript, we don't need the script tag. Inside the body tag, I am going to create a paragraph. Then close the paragraph tag. And inside this paragraph, I am going to write some a statement or button or something. So for example, I am going to write the paragraph again and then write down some statement like in this example we are going to see the use of inline javascript then close the paragraph tag so this is a statement i am going to print and then 
just write down the code for inline javascript so for that i am going to write here the anchor tag so basically the anchor tag is used to provide the link to a particular element for example it may be a button it may be image or text or something so here write down the anchor tag and then the important attribute of anchor tag is a href href means hyper reference equal to in double quotation hash i am not going to provide any link so here i am going to just write down in double quotation as hash and then i am going to write a event of javascript and that event is a on click event so here on click equal to in double quotation alert dialog box so if i want to open the alert dialog box write down alert and then in bracket in single quotation suppose write down welcome to javascript then single quotation complete bracket complete semicolon and again double quotation complete anchor tag close then here write down click me and then end of anchor tag and we end the paragraph tag in the next line so here i create a anchor tag then the attribute of anchor tag is a href equal to hash so href means hyper reference and i am not going to link any of the web page any of the file so here I, in double quotation i am going to just write down hash then the next is a on click on click equal to alert in bracket welcome to javascript so here i am going to open the alert dialog box and inside dialog box i am going to write the statement as welcome to javascript so this is a click me text and when user clicks on the click me means when user moves the mouse pointer to the click me text and click on the text then the click event is generated and to handle this event the on click event handler is used so here when user clicks on the button click me then on click event handler calls and then it calls the alert dialog box which has a message that is a welcome to javascript so this is a simple example of inline javascript now let's save the program again and then run it okay so this is a simple text we write down inside the paragraph tag and here is a one link which we write inside the anchor tag okay so when we move the mouse pointer to this link click on this link then then the click event will generate and it calls the alert dialog box which has a message that is a welcome to javascript and alert dialog box has only one parameter that is a message and it has only one button that is a okay so this is a simple program of inline javascript when our project is very simple very basic and we have very few files to work with then we use inline javascript but if we have multiple files to work with then we prefer the external javascript so in this way we learn about what is meant by inline javascript and the example program of inline javascript i hope you understand it very well if you have any doubt any query regarding this topic then let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your all the questions thanks for watching